This recording is going to cover the lymphatic system. The lymph system is very important in maintaining fluid balance and it helps in immunity within the body. It is considered the second subdivision of the circulatory system with the blood vascular system being the first. It is composed of a clear fluid called lymph, lymph nodes and vessels that are called lymph vessels that transport the lymph, as well as organs that contain lymph tissue. They are the tonsils, the spleen, and the thymus gland. Lymph. Lymph is a clear, yellowish, watery fluid found in the lymphatic vessels. It is similar to plasma, but without many large proteins. It does not have red blood cells or platelets, but it does contain lymphocytes. The structure of lymph vessels. Lymph vessels begin as lymph capillaries, which are the smallest of the lymph vessels. The lymph vessels resemble the structure of veins in that they will have the same three layers, tunica intima, tunica media, and tunica adventitia, but they have thinner walls and more valves. These lymph vessels will eventually drain into two large main vessels, the right lymphatic duct, the thoracic duct, which is also known as the lymph lymphatic duct. Lymph nodes are oval shaped structures that are located along the entire length of lymph vessels. You can see them studded along the lymph vessels in the diagram within your notes. They function as filters to remove bacteria and other foreign bodies including malignant cells. The right lymphatic duct. This is the smaller of the two main vessels. It is only about one half inch long. This will drain lymph from the upper right side of the body, the head, the neck, the right side of the chest, and the entire right upper extremity. It is going to return lymph to the cardiovascular system by way of the right subclavian vein. The thoracic duct or the left lymphatic duct. This is much longer than the right. It is about 15 to 18 inches long. The thoracic duct is going to begin as a dilation called the cisterna chile or chile and is located anterior to the second lumbar vertebrae. Cisterna or cistern means a reservoir. The thoracic duct is going to receive lymph from the left side of the head, neck, chest, left upper extremity and the entire body below the ribs. It's going to return lymph to the cardiovascular system by way of the left subclavian vein. Let's take a look at lacteals, villi, and pyrus patches. Lacteals are small ducts that convey lymph and dietary lipids, or fats, from the villi of the small intestines to the cisterna chile. The presence of these lip lipids give the lymph a milky or creamy-like appearance. Lymph in the small intestines is referred to as chyle. C-H-Y-L-E. And everywhere else, lymph is clear and or yellowish fluid. Villi. These are finger-like projections that are found along the mucosal walls of the small intestines. Their function is to increase the absorption areas. Pyre's patches are aggregations or groups of lymph nodes that are located along the entire length of the small intestines. They are the most numerous in the section of the intestines called the ileum and that's spelled I-L-E-U-M, which happens to be the longest portion. The lymph organs, tonsils. Tonsils are masses of lymphatic tissues embedded in the mucous membranes within the oral cavity and nasopharynx. They produce lymphocytes and filter bacteria. There are two pairs of tonsils and one singular tonsil. The most common tonsils called the palatine tonsils, these are what we call our tonsils. They are located at the back and sides of the throat. The second pair, called the lingual tonsils, are located at the back of the tongue. And the singular tonsil that is located in the upper part of the throat or nasopharynx is called the pharyngeal tonsil or adenoid. The spleen. The spleen is the largest mass of lymphatic tissue. It's about five inches in length and is situated in the left hypochondriac region between the stomach and the diaphragm, lateral to the liver. The spleen stores about one cup or eight ounces of blood. So if we ever need blood during an emergency, the spleen contracts and forces the blood into circulation. 
the thymus gland. This gland is a bilobe lymphatic organ located in the upper anterior part of the thoracic cavity. It is located behind the sternum between the lungs and this produces lymphocytes. The functions of the lymphatic sim system. Simply put, the lymphatic system will act as a filter to protect the body from invasions of bacteria. It aids in the formation of white blood cells, your lymphocytes. It returns filtered lymph to the bloodstream and it restores blood by way of the spleen.